everyone, it's Leanne with Lovely Scrappin. I wanted to show you this vintage tag that I made for a good friend of mine on YouTube. She's been so kind to me and has helped me out a lot. And to show my appreciation, I wanted to make her this vintage tag. So I really hope she likes it. I had a lot of fun making it. It's my first vintage tag. Um, if you guys are interested in watching me put this tag together, then just continue watching the tail end of this video. I put some clips together, so hopefully that can kind of um, show you some of the techniques that I've done. I'll quickly walk you through some of the things that I did do with it. First off, this quote here, Gratitude is the Memory of the Heart, is by Jean-Baptiste, and I printed it off on some cardstock from my computer and just cut it out and distressed it with brush corduroy distress ink, and then I popped it up with some uh, foam pieces there, just to kind of add some dimension. This tag is eight and a half inches long by four inches wide, and I um, used for the background a um, embossed dis embossed resist technique, and um, used brush corduroy and then some uh, broken china distress ink, and also edged it with some walnut stain, and um, then I also distressed this ribbon, the satin ribbon, um, some walnut and brush corduroy to kind of make the color sort of match with what's going on in the tag. Um, then add some American uh, American craft uh, brads to it, and then I made some homemade flowers. And I also show you in the videos after this how I made it, um, using some satin um, material. And uh, these here, these flowers are the wild peony flowers that I have grown to love so much. These little mini roses are from a swap from Terry. Thank you, Terry. This image here, a lot of you probably recognized, um, is from some of the cards at Michael's. I just cut it out from the card and then I, because it's glossy, I had to use some alcohol ink. I used a caramel color, I think it was, to sort of add a little bit of antique look to it and, and tone down the white in it. And then this border, this little oval border here, was done using my Fiskars oval border punch. And I distressed it with walnut stain. Um, I added a homemade stick pin. Um, this lace here used to be white, and I colored it like crazy with all different types of colors you'll see in the video. And I also put some stickles, some gold stickles on it. This braid here was sort of a light cream color, and I kind of um, colored it with some brush corduroy to sort of make it match with what's going on here. Um, this here I used the scallop border punch by Fiskars. I added some eyelets and then made some little charms out of some beads and uh, connected it with a jump ring. So I thought that added a lot of fun to it. <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing that one. Um, and then just to avoid the fraying, I put some glossy accents on the, the edges of the lace after it's been cut. Uh, let's see, did I cover everything there? And then on the back, I doubled up the tag so it's nice and thick, and I distressed it with brushed corduroy and stamped with the Martha Stewart Butterfly Stamp Set uh, using Walnut Stain Ink and um, added another American Craft Brad there, more ribbon. And so this I've left blank because I'm going to actually write on it or attach a piece. Um, I haven't quite decided how I'm going to go about leaving my little message for my friend, but um, that's what that blank spot is for. So anyway, you guys, that is my tag. I had so much fun making it. If you're interested in watching the clips, then just continue watching, guys. Please leave some feedback. I'd love to know what you guys think of it. Um, and if you have any questions, then let me know, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye now.